Hi, my name is Mai, and today I'm going to share with you what in my opinion is the best double stroller on the market, the City Select Double Stroller from Baby Jogger. This is completely unsponsored. I'm just some random mom who has twin toddlers and a baby wanting to help out other moms that are looking for strollers right now. I went through several double strollers before finding this one that I absolutely love. I fully acknowledge that this is not the cheapest stroller out there. It may not fit into everyone's budget, Buying it brand new didn't even fit into my budget. I bought mine used off of the Facebook market. However, if you have two or more kids, your stroller is your beacon to freedom and getting out of the house. So personal opinion, as someone who tried working with the cheaper double strollers that are still really expensive, this is the area to splurge if you're having twins or if you're expanding your family. I'll go over my full review of the City Select double stroller, but before we do, I gotta shamelessly plug my channel. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys. All right, let's get into the review. First, I'm going to go over everything I love about this stroller. And number one is it is so versatile and works for pretty much any family. Whether you're expecting twins and you're about to have two newborns all the way to the twin toddler stage, or if you have a toddler right now and you're expecting a baby, it's great for an infant toddler setup. You can even buy a glider board attachment so you can have two kids in the actual stroller and then you can have a toddler standing on the glider board so it can really fit up to three kids. The way I use my stroller right now with twin two-year-olds and a baby is I have the baby in the top part of the stroller in his car seat carrier, and then I have the toddler seat in the front for whatever twin decides they wanna rest their legs for a little bit. The next thing I love is it has huge wheels that glide so smoothly. You can easily operate the stroller with just one hand, which is perfect for us millennial moms so that we can text and operate at the same time. Also, if you have three kids like me and someone is being fussy and they don't want to go in the stroller and they also don't want to walk and you got to carry that one toddler under one arm, you can still easily operate your stroller as someone's tantruming in your other arm. It pops over curbs easily. You can operate it through grassy or gravelly areas. I'm originally from Minnesota, so if I'm going home to visit during the winter time, I have to bring this stroller because it's the only one I own that can operate through ice and snow. The wheels really make this stroller the best for any condition. I'm going to be reviewing my Zoe double stroller. I'll leave the link in the comments below when I have that posted. But that one, the wheels are a lot smaller. So while the Zoe stroller is also really great and has its purposes that I use it for, it won't drive through icy or snowy or really grassy, any sort of not smooth conditions. I also love the easy hand lock on the City Select double stroller. Sometimes when I'm getting my first kid into their car seat and the other two are still in the stroller, I have like this oh moment where I'm like, did I lock the double stroller? And with the City Select double, it's really easy to just look back see that the lock is up and engaged and I can rest my heart. With double strollers that lock on the bottom, you wouldn't be able to easily quickly see that. You'd have to go test it out with your foot really quick. The City Select Double also has great undercarriage space. Sometimes if I'm out and about at Target going grocery shopping and I just have a few little things to get, I won't even bother getting the big red cart. I'll just stick what I need in the bottom of the stroller because it actually holds quite a bit. Online it says it can only hold up to 10 pounds or at least it only recommends holding up to 10 pounds, but sometimes my 28 pound toddlers sneak in there and it still hasn't broken on us. And don't worry, I'm not like running marathons with them in the undercarriage. It's like if they hop in and we're almost to the car and it's a super short trip. Having the tandem double stroller also helps you get through doorways really easily. I have had side-by-side -side strollers and in some older or historic buildings in the town that I live in, the side-by-side -side double stroller that is obviously wider, having it be side-by-side, -side, wouldn't fit through some of the doorways, which was obviously really inconvenient. I have never had the issue with my City Select double stroller of having it fit through any and every doorway. The stroller folds down really, really compact. 
especially when you're in the stage where you have two kids in their car seats. I took this stroller on a trip when my boys were still really young and both in their car seats. It could fit so easily into our tiny little budget rental car. I didn't actually own the stroller at this point. At the time, I had a Juvie Twin Rue, which I would not recommend. It is a beast. It is so huge. And knowing that I was going to have a tiny, tiny little rental car that I also had to fit all my luggage into, I knew the Juvie Twin Rue folded down would not fit into the trunk. So I had a really generous friend actually lend me her City Select Double Stroller for the trip and it fit perfectly. Very shortly after, I ended up buying one myself because it was so much better than the Juvie Twin Roo. The toddler seats are super comfy and it's really easy for your kids to fall asleep in them, which is great. And when they do fall asleep, the seats recline really nicely so that they stay asleep. And it also has a huge canopy to help block out any light and noise. Again, so they stay asleep. The seats also have a five point harness buckle, which is great for when they're really, really little. And then when they're older, you can take off the chest straps and just have it be a three point harness around their waist. Then when they're a bit older, like my two year olds, I don't even really use the buckles anymore. I just have the snack trays and they like to kind of click themselves in and just use the snack tray as their harness. The last thing that I really love about this stroller is kids are messy. And <laughs> if you let your kids eat on their little snack trays, not everything stays in the little snack tray and you'll have ground up snack bars and goldfish and fruit snacks all in the seats. And the covers on the seats come off really easily. You can just throw them in the wash and put it back on and it looks like new. Now for the cons. I had to think really hard about the cons because as I've made it very clear in this video so far, I love this stroller and it pains me to think of anything negative about something that has helped me so much. But if I had to pick a couple things, this is what they would be. Number one is they could find a way to make it easier for the infant seats to click in and out. I have Graco 35 infant car seats and you have to buy little adapters for those to click in and out of the City Select Double Stroller. And for me at this point, it's really, really easy for me to click the infant car seat in and out. But when I did very first get it, it took me a while to get the hang of. And even now when I have, you know, grandma or my brother is coming to visit, it's really difficult for them to do it. And I basically, I just end up taking care of it to make sure that baby's safely clicked in. Second is because it is a tandem stroller, it is very long once you have the toddler seat on the front. So if no one's there to open the door for you or if you're at an establishment that has, you know, double doors to get into the entrance where you have one door and then a tiny little hallway and another door, sometimes the stroller can get really long in that little interim space and it can be hard to get that second door open. The last con is the stroller won't fold down if you have the second toddler seat in the front. You have to remove that second front seat in order to have the whole stroller snap down, which is inconvenient because if you have a side-by-side -side double stroller, it all stays together in one piece. But again, this is the best double stroller ever. I really, really do wish that I had gotten it from day one when I found out that I was having twins and put it on my baby registry. It is a lot of money, but if you get it from day one, you will use it all the time and it is worth every single penny in just the convenience and freedom that it gives you. And be sure to check out my Zoe double stroller review, which I will leave in the comments below as soon as I have it posted. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already and leave a comment down below on any other baby products that you wanna see a review on. Since having three kids in two years, I have used about any and every single baby product there is. So if you want me to do a review, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.